Okay, so it's uh, day two of the talks now, and I'm standing here with Christian Tarita of Tick, Tick, Tick. Um, Christian, what are, what are some of the themes that seem to be emerging here? Well, for quite a while, we didn't really know what to expect from the Cancun talks at the end of the year. And in that sense, we didn't really know what uh, Tianjin this week would have to do in order to lay a foundation for Cancun. But I think yesterday we've really heard one particular term many times in the opening speech of the UNFCC executive secretary, but then also in press conferences by various parties. And this term is balanced package. So now everybody is talking about this balanced package. And I think everybody was sitting in the plenaries or press conferences heard this term a lot. And apparently that's what we are now after. Okay, so a balanced package, it sounds like a good thing. The word balanced sounds positive. Um, what are the implications of this? Well, I think um, with uh, a balanced package, there's a good and a positive, there's a positive and a negative side, right? Mm -hmm. So um, on the positive side, it seems like we are now expecting something from the year-end talks in Cancun. Okay. So it's not that we are all expecting that they are just another boring disaster like Copenhagen without any proper outcome. Mm -hmm. So we want a balanced package. But then I think there's also a risk because the negotiators might now feel that they can lean back and rest a little bit because now this term balanced package is out there and uh, it sounds good and it looks good and the word things are ah, they're working they're doing something they're producing a balanced package um, the reality is that most parties don't really agree what a balanced package should be or what should be in it. Um, there are many different opinions there about is it a balance between different negotiating tracks or between different issues such as technology versus adaptation or finance versus emission reductions or is it actually a balance between country blocks like the developed and the developing countries. So I think our role as civil society now is to really point at these big question marks about what is in the balanced package and at the end of the day, there can only be one answer. So if this is your balanced package, we need to make sure that one thing is definitely in it and that would be a safe climate. Okay. So fingers crossed that that's what we achieve towards the end of this week and uh, onwards into Cancun. Thanks for joining us, Christian. Thanks.